What's up? Good morning, actually. It's George the Fragrance Apprentice here, and I just wanted to do a video about Peter and about his fragrance line because the thing that really concerns me is you've had so many different fragrance reviewers do all their different fragrances and, and release all their different companies this year, and it's had a, the, the concept of that in itself has had a mixed reaction. Some people have gone, yeah, yeah, brilliant, that's amazing, and, and other people have gone, hang on a minute, like, are you a reviewer or, or are you a salesman? Are you a reviewer? Are you telling me? Are you giving me advice? Or are you now an on entrepreneur? Like, what's going on? And some people feel a little bit betrayed. Some people feel a little bit sort of, like, shortchanged and, and all that kind of stuff. And I can see both sides. I really can. And there's been a lot of controversy this year with a lot of the releases and, you know, people are now starting to ask questions about Stephen's fragrance, like where on earth did the money come from? Why wasn't there a Kickstarter? How is it that there was kind of no process shown and then suddenly there's like seven bottles out of nowhere, fully packaged, you know, beautifully presented. Why is it that the company is registered in Dubai and not New Jersey? All these different things coming out that I don't know the answers to and, you know, I'm sure there's probably logical ex explanations to all of it, but, you know, there's just some kind of weird stuff going on about all that. Jeremy's fragrances are all just wild with it. You know, that that's just a, a whole other, um, you know, kettle of fish, as it were. People, you know, the controversy around that is just wild. I've actually come around to office for men. I, I do enjoy it, but it, I do still feel it's overpriced. And all that, you know, there's, there's just drama, 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 and all that. And then there's Dan's, actually, one of the... the the best releases of the year, actually. I love Gravitas, and I'd actually buy that because it tugs on my heartstrings quite a lot because I recognize that that scent DNA, and I really appreciate that. So that's a, that's a great release. And then you have Peter coming in at the end of the year, and Peter's a ridiculously humble guy. Very humble, very, very humble, nice man, and that's why he's so likable. He's not like me. He's not an arrogant asshole who thinks that he's really good at what he does and I'm you know I think I'm the shit and all that kind of stuff Peter's not like that thank god um yeah Peter's like oh yeah I made this fragrance company what do you think about it is it any good I don't know um but that does worry me because his fragrances I smelt them a little while ago actually I, I smelt them when we did the recording with me him and Chris and Chris smelt them and they're amazing, and I don't, I'm not just saying that, I'm not just saying that, they are legitimately, out of all of the releases from fragrance reviewers this year, because I'm a lover of niche and artsy, you know, artsy-fartsy, interesting, unique, storytelling, narrative-driven fragrances that actually have a story behind them and then try to actually, you know, uh, provoke the different emotions from the story that they're telling. Peter's line is the best fragrance line of the year when it comes to not just the fragrance reviewers, but it's one of the best lines that, that has come out this year as a whole. It's just, you know, they're all based around different mythologies, different places, you know, one of them is to do with Egypt. That was the one that absolutely killed me. You know, that was the one because I'm kind of a fan of Egypt. And if I'm honest, Peter's love of Egypt has kind of rubbed off on me a little bit. And he told me the story of Egypt within his fragrance, you know, and that's difficult to do. That's hard to do. I think that he's actually a natural at it. You know, he's, he's very naturally gifted in being a perfumier and he's taken his time he has spent all of his life savings you know it did piss me off um i don't mean to shit talk anybody but i'm going to a little bit because this really irritated me you know two years ago or whenever it was there was the whole patreon thing and you had you had actual youtubers actual grown-up adult fragrance youtubers smaller youtubers that actually came on and were like oh yeah um these guys are beggars. They're all freaking beggars. And that just created a ripple effect. And that was just, there's just no need for that. There was, you know, the only reason why those people said that, the only reason why those particular creators said that is because nobody ever would pay for any of their content. In fact, people don't even watch some of their, most of their content, even though it's on YouTube for free. But that 
affected quite a few people when when people were like, oh yeah, begging, begging for money, begging for money. No, it's not begging for money. It's asking for money to create work, to create value. And I think that that got to Pete a little bit. And I was like, why don't you do a Kickstarter? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And Pete was like, no, no, no. I don't I don't want to be seen as a beggar. I don't want to be seen as as that. And I'm like, dude, you're not begging. You're You're asking your fan base to contribute to something that you're going to be creating that's effectively going to be a win but that's just pete because pete's freaking cool and pete's humble and pete's just whatever you know he's just like okay i'm, I'm gonna do this and this is how i feel and he's great and peter is one of my um one of the only friends like i can count on one hand like people who i know in this community who are fellow creators and they're actually genuinely my friend you know, I'm, I, I, I kind of keep to my, myself, really, in a way. I, I, I'm quite selective, especially when it's online and things like that. Yeah, there's about only four or five, maybe six people that I can consider. Those are genuinely my friends, and, and Peter, is, Peter is up there. I know that if I got into a load of trouble or if I got into a load of shit or if something went wrong for me, I could ring Peter up, he'd help me. You know, and, and I know that we're good friends because when I speak to him, we don't just speak about fragrance. In fact, we rarely speak about fragrance. He's a good dude and he deserves all the success and all of the attention that comes with doing this fragrance line. Like I said, he's very humble, so I'm kind of being his hype man right now. And his line is legitimately amazing. It's so creative. It's so interesting. And the, fra the, the fragrances are just top-notch. They're just top-notch niche. They're just everything that I kind of expected them to be. I Maybe I under-expected what Peter was going to do, but I've smelt those fragrances, I was only able to smell them one day, but they left a mark, and they are freaking amazing, they're really high quality, it's not even fair to just be like, oh this is a fragrance line from a fragrance YouTuber, because that sounds gimmicky, that sounds like you know, these YouTubers, these mainstream YouTubers who make books and who write books, it's like, you know, it's like celebrity it's like a celebrity fragrance, so it's like a, a a Tesco's own celebrity auto biography. You know, it seems tacky, it seems gimmicky. Fragrance views, Peter's fragrance line is not tacky. It's not gimmicky. It's got more in common with Aaron Terrence Hughes. It's got more in common with Nosomato. You know, this is a genuinely, you know, it's got more in common with Slumber House. These fragrances are top-notch, genuinely good fragrances, and I don't want anybody to sleep on them just because, you know, Jeremy's releasing Date or Navatus is coming out. That's, you can go for those, and I don't, I haven't smelt Navatus, I haven't even smelt Date, but if you are not, if you're going to, like, just look at those and, and not go for what Peter is doing, which I'd say is a cut above all of that, just from the, the, the standard that he's done through this whole experience and through the whole timeline of what he's had to do and the work, sweat and tears that he's put into this brand. You know, don't, don't lose yourself in that way. You've got to check his fragrances out. They're absolutely stunning. And Pete, mate, I love you. You know I love you and you're such a good friend. And listen, I want to say something publicly here, right? Me and Pete have got this kind of bizarre friendship because he'll we'll 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 talk a lot of philosophy and you know we'll we'll go really deep into subjects. Pete will send me a lot of like he will send me literally paragraphs. <laughs> He'll send me literally paragraphs of like philosophy and about lucid dreams and God and what is God and all this kind of stuff. And I'm I'm all for that. I love all that. But sometimes he'll send me like literally a paragraph or a whole essay on something, and I'm just eat, eating a sandwich. Or I'm just playing like WWE 2K19. <laughs> and he'll send me this message like, you know, George, I think that God is actually within all of us and death isn't real and the universe is just a continuous existential experience where we as gods try to, you know, mitigate boredom by experiencing all of the different minutiae within the experience and within existence itself. And I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to beat Ric Flair in SummerSlam 1988. Could you come? I'm not... <laughs> I'm not ready for this right now. So, Pete, I'm I'm never ignoring you, and I do read your stuff, but sometimes I'm just not in that mode <laughs> to be able to reply to you. But, yeah, um, yeah, it's absolutely legit, and good luck, Pete. And please, if you're watching this, 
and you love high quality, solid niche fragrances, fragrances that actually take you somewhere, fragrances that are amazing, you've got to check out Peter's new new line. It's absolutely stunning. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, thanks so much, and uh, until I see you again, which will actually be later today, um, I'm the Fragrance Prince. Cheers. Good luck, Pete. Bye.